In this video, we'll look at the MCAD co-designer available in Altium 365. Simply stated, the Altium MCAD co-designer is a set of technologies that allows ECAD and MCAD designers to fluidly pass design changes back and forth between their design domains. The Altium MCAD co-designer plugin is available for Autodesk Inventor Professional, Autodesk Fusion 360, DASO Systems SolidWorks, and PTC Creo Parametric. To take advantage of the co-designer feature set, you need three things. First, in Ultium Designer, you need to install the MCAD co-designer extension. Second, you need to install the plugin for your MCAD environment. Third, you need to create a managed project. Let's see how we can do that. First, let's install the co-designer extension by going to Extensions and Updates. In your Installed tab, scroll down, and if you don't see the co-designer extension, click on Purchased. Scroll down till you see the MCAT co-designer. Click the down arrow. This will download and install the extension in your system. You'll need to restart Altium Designer to complete the process. Once we have the extension installed, go to the Downloads page on the Altium website and find the plugin for your MCAD environment and download it. I'm using the SolidWorks plugin for this example. Locate the downloaded file and install it. Now let's go into our MCAD environment and make sure the plugin installed correctly. In SolidWorks, you should see the Altium Designer Task Pane tab added. If you don't see this, go to Tools, Add-ins, and make sure you have the Altium Co-Designer active and enabled for startup. Of course, this will be different depending on your MCAT environment. Once we have the extension and plugin installed, let's open a project in Altium Designer. Make sure you're signed in to your A365 workspace. And if it's a local project, make sure you make the project available online. An easy way to start the process is to add a PCB to your project and push it to the server. Let's start with a blank PCB. Open the co-designer panel, select push and share. Add a comment, and select Post. If the mechanical engineer is not invited to the workspace, you can use this window to invite them by specifying their email address. At this stage, the mechanical engineer can start their work on the project. To do this, they need to pull a board snapshot from the server by using the co-designer Task Pane tab to select the project and save it. This will create an identical board shape in the working window of the MCAD system. Here, the mechanical engineer can modify the board dimensions, change the board shape, place mounting holes, and change any other design elements that are required. Now the changes can be transferred to Altium Designer. To do this, we use the push button in the co-designer tab to transfer the PCB to Altium Designer. After the board has been pushed by the mechanical engineer, the electrical engineer sees the new updates in the MCAD co-designer panel with the option to either view the proposed changes or discard them. When they click on view changes, a list of each design change made is shown. Every change can be previewed, and if it is wrong, it can be disabled. If a change is ignored, it will appear in the change list the next time the mechanical engineer performs a push. Once we've done our preliminary component placement, we can push the updated PCB to the server so that the mechanical engineer can view the changes and make any adjustments that may be necessary. Back in the MCAD environment, we can pull the board shape snapshot to see the component placement and make any necessary modifications such as deleting holes 
or moving components. Once completed, we can push the PCB back to Altium Designer. Finally, after selecting the accepted changes, the PCB acquires the exact look that the mechanical engineer set. For more information on the MCAD co-designer, go to altium.com documentation.